Today we will discuss an important theorem um, from complex variable and the theorem is identity theorem. This is extremely important for our examinations CSI DGC net. Okay. Now theorem says that uh, Zn is a sequence of points having a limit point in a domain D. Zn is a sequence of points having a limit point in a domain D. Okay and fz and gz are analytic in d with fzn equal to gzn for each n then fz equal to gz suppose okay suppose d is a domain and f and g are analytic in d and f and g are agree on a set sequence this which is a limit point in d then fz equal to gz throughout d no problem okay suppose D is a domain F and G both are analytic and agree on a sequence Zn okay and this sequence have a limit point in D then Fg equal to Gz throughout this domain no problem now Using this theorem, 2018 June, 2016 June, 2015 December, 2015 June, 2013 December, a question given in net examination. Okay. Okay. Now we solve the this question. Uh, let f from z from this set z with module less than one. There is an open unit text. Uh, to c be a non-constant analytic function then which of the following uh, can be possibly satisfied by this four option option one if a one by n equal to f of minus one by n equal to one by n square option two if a one by n equal to f of minus one by n equal to one by two n plus one for all n belongs to n okay and third if a one by n less than two to the power minus n and uh, Fourth option 1 by root n less than f of mod of f of 1 by n less than 2 by root n for all n belongs to n. Okay, so now we solve this question. Okay, we solve this question. Okay, take option 1. That is f of 1 by n equal to f of minus 1 by n equal to 1 by n square for all n belongs to n. Okay. Given that f is non constant and uh, non constant and analytic. Okay. Analytic on this domain module less than one that is this domain okay no problem okay now if we take gz equal to z square then g is analytic on this domain no problem this is a polynomial function okay now you can see that g of 1 by n equal to g of minus 1 by n this is 1 by n square okay so you can say that f and g are agree are agree on this sequence okay on this sequence and this sequence have limit point 0 and this 0 belongs to the domain where f is and g and analytic okay so by identity theorem you say that fz equal to gz throughout this domain so option one is true so there exists a function non-constant analytic function gz equal to j square exist okay now option two 
option 2 says that f of 1 by n equal to f of minus 1 by n equal to 1 by 2n plus 1 for all n belongs to n okay now this is written as 1 by n 2 plus 1 by n so if we take zz equal to z by 2 plus z then you can see that g of 1 by n this is 1 by 2n plus 1 that is f and g are agree on this sequence okay and this sequence have a limit point 0 and 0 belongs to this domain so by nd theorem fz equal to gz throughout this but but now you can see that g of minus 1 by n this is nothing but minus 1 by 2n minus 1 this is not equal to 1 by 2n plus 1 that is f and g are not agree on this sequence so so there cannot exist another so there cannot exist such function okay you can see that by identity, identity theorem fg equal to gz throughout this but you can see that in these points they are not they are not same so they can exist as such function okay now option 3 option 3 given that option 3 is um, mode of f of 1 by n less than 2 to the power minus n where n belongs to n okay so you can say that mode of fz less than 2 to the power n okay and you can see that as n tends to infinity so 1 by 2 to the power n this tends to 0 so from this we say that f of z this is constant constant but in the question given that f is a non-constant analytic function analytic function so this is also not true now option 4 option 4 is 1 by root n less than mod of f of 1 by root n less than 2 by root n where n belongs to n so from this we can say that this and again as n tends to infinity this tends to 0 this tends to 0 so fz is a constant function again this is not possible since given that f is a non-constant okay so 2018 June question problem solve now next you can say that in 2016 June this question given let D be the open unit dix in C and uh, HD be the collection of all holomorphic function that is analytic function on D now given that S is the collection of all such functions such that f of half equal to half f of 1 fourth equal to 1 by fourth dot f of 1 by 2 n equal to 1 by 2 n and t such a uh, holomorphic function such that f of half equal to f of 1 third equal to half f of 1 fourth equal to 1 by 5 equal to 1 by 4 and similar to dot and then the answer option is both s and t are singleton sets option 2 is s is singleton set and t is empty set third is uh, t is a singleton set s is empty and fourth say that s and t both are empty set okay now if we say that f this is holomorphic that is analytic okay analytic in the open unit dx d that is more general than of one okay now s is given that s such of all holomorphic function h d such that f of half equal to half f of one fourth equal to one by fourth similarly others and you can see that in the question h d this is the collection of all holomorphic functions okay okay 
now f of half equal to half if 1 by 4 is 1 by 4 so if we take gz equal to z then this is analytic in this domain no problem and f and g are agree on this sequence 1 by 2 n n belongs to n no problem and this sequence have a limit point 0 and this is belongs to d so identity theorem fz equal to gz equal to z so s is nothing but this gz equal to z so s is a single turn set z a single turn set okay no problem now given that t is f such of all functions f such of all holomorphic function f says that f of half equal to f of one third equal to half f of one by four equal to f of one by five equal to one by four and similarly others so from this if we take gz equal to z then you can see that f and g are agree on this sequence 1 by n sorry 1 by 2n n belongs to n okay and this sequence have a limit point 0 and 0 belongs to d so by identity theorem f z equal to gz throughout this domain but you can see that g of one third this is one third not equal to half so you can see that f and g are agree on this but not on this sequence 2n plus 1 n belongs to n so such a function cannot exist okay so t is empty and s is a single done set okay so you can see that S is single done set and T is empty. So option two is correct. Now in 2015 December you can see that given that let F be an analytic function in C huh? then F is constant if the zero set of F contain the sequence. Zero set of F means F Z where F the value of F is zero. That is F Z equal to zero. Option 1 a n equal to 1 by n. Option 2 minus 1 to the power n minus 1 1 by n. Option 3 a n equal to 1 by 2 n. Option 4 a n equal to n if 4 does not divide n. And a n equal to 1 by n if 4 divides n. Okay. Now if a n equal to 1 by n. Okay. If a n equal to 1 by n. That is if the 0 set of f contains the sequence this. Then you can then you can okay now okay let's solve this question that is if the zero set of f contains the sequence n equal to 1 by n that is f of 1 by n equal to 0 is f is constant is the question now you can see that if gz equal to 0 then this is analytic no problem and f and g are agree on this sequence 1 by n n belongs to n and this sequence have a limit point 0 and 0 belongs to c so fz equal to gz equal to 0 so f is a constant no problem okay now by two option two you can say that f of n a n equal to minus one to the power n minus one one by two n okay there is a zero set of f contains this sequence okay now you can say that if n is odd when n is odd then a n equal to one by n and then similarly by option one f z equal to g z equal to zero since if we take gz equal to 0 then this is analytic throughout c and f and g are and agree on this n belongs to n with odd where n is odd okay n is odd 
then by identity theorem they are equal because this sequence have a limit point 0 and 0 belongs to C so by identity theorem this is 0 ok now option third is uh, n equal to 1 by 2 n that is the 0 that is the 0 set of f contains the sequence this f of 1 by 2 n equal to 0 ok now if we take again g z equal to 0 then f and j agree on this sequence 1 by 2 n n belongs to n no problem and this sequence have a limit point 0 and 0 belongs to c so by any the theorem f z equal to g z equal to 0 so this is f z is constant so third option is also true now fourth option given that n equal to n if 4 does not divide n and 1 by n if 4 divides n so, so you can see that f of 1 by n equal to 0 if 4 divides n ok now if, if we take gz equal to 0 you can see that f and g are agree on this sequence and this sequence have a limit point in c and the limit point is 0 0 belongs to c so by identity theorem f and g both are equal to 0 so f is constant so here a fourth all the options are true here yeah? all the options option 1 option 2 option 3 option 4 in this case you can see that the zero set of f are given okay so if we find any subsequence of this sequence then our work is done okay similarly in 2015 june you can see that this question given let a be analytic function and define the opening unit dx c then f is constant if f of 1 by n equal to 0 f of fz equal to 0 if 1 by n square equal to 0 fz equal to 0 for this now you can see that if we take gz equal to 0 then f and g are, um, are f and g both are analytic ok and f and g are degree on 1 by n and 1 by n uh, have a limit point 0 on in c so f z equal, z equal to 0 so f is constant no problem if we take this so f z equal to gz on um, on this um, circle and these circles if we take any sequence in this then this um, this have a limit point belong to c so f z and z equal to 0 again if we take the third option then f and g are agree on 1 by n square and this have a limit point 0 0 to c so f j and g are equal to 0 say again f is constant no problem if we take f j equal to 0 on this again f and g and agree on this set ok then you can see that f and g are both equal to 0 so there is a function so in any case in any case f and g are constant ok in 2013 December also a question given this is your work homework ok you can solve this question so this very 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 important theorem for our upcoming examinations in 2018 December and um, exam date may be 16 December okay so you can all again I can say that suppose D is the domain okay and F and G both are analytic in this domain and F and G are agree on this sequence that is on this sequence both get the same value um, suppose this sequence Zn n belongs to n okay and this sequence have a limit point belong to D then you can see that fz equal to gz throughout this domain okay this is very important I hope in this year one question from given from by using this theorem okay if you like this video then subscribe to my channel and uh, also hit the bell icon for notification okay and also share with your friends okay so see you in the next video thank you